All right, now that we have learned how to do the standard algorithm with our one-digit divisors, before I do the standard algorithm with two-digit divisors, I actually want to do the models. Learning how to use models. Okay, so this is lesson 5.3. And I'm actually going to draw this model out. It's very similar to the area model or partial products that we did for multiplication, but we approach it a little bit differently. Okay, so I have 15 here. I have 300 filled out here. I have 75 here and it's asking me what is let me see here 375 divided by 15. Now, I want you to think about it this way. When we were doing area models, we had something here. We had a number here and a number here, and these were blank. Now, division is the opposite of multiplication, so we have to think it in a backwards way. When I was multiplying this number by this number, we got this number, correct? So in order to find this number, I have to find what times 15 equals 300? In order to find this number, because when I did partial products in the area model, I said 15 times this number would equal 75. So we have some parts of what we would not have earlier, and we have to work backwards. So this is how I would do it. I would say, because to find 300, I would have to multiply something times 15. Okay, I would also have to multiply something times 15 to get 75. Okay, so let's see, 15 times, I know 15 times 10 is 150. And that's half of 300. So maybe it's 20. That's what I have in my mind that it's 20. So if I say 15 times 20, I'm going to try it out. Oops, that's zero. That's correct. So this right here would be 20. Okay, the next one is 15 times 75. So I'm going to find out what this number is. I'm going to try 15 times 5, just as a, and that's 75. So this would be 5. I would have guessed 4 or 5. So now this number is 25, 25. Because when we do partial products in our, I mean, our area model, we divide up our values in our tens place and our ones place, which is what we're doing here. So this is 25. So this is another way of approaching the same problem. If I was given, I'm actually gonna do a completely different color, here we go. So that was my guess and check way. Now I'm gonna show you using the way that the book has you do it. And I'm going to write, this is 315, 75, and we have nothing here, okay? I'm going to set this up like I would a long division problem, but I'm not using the standard algorithm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 300 here. 
okay? How many 15s are in 375? We are going to try 20. And that ended up being 300 if I multiplied 15 times 20 like I did here. I move to the next page because I have one, two examples for you. And now I'm going to move on from using the area model to partial quotients. Partial products was for multiplication, partial quotients is going to be in our division. So the partial means part of. So when we had our example earlier, we were finding parts of the quotient and adding them together. And that's what we're going to do here. So I have an example from our textbook. It is 11 divided into 132. Now I'm not going to use a box. I'm going to show it to you using just partial quotients. So I'm going to say a round number like 10 or 20 or five, something that's easy that would 11 would go into. So I'm going to say 11 times 10 would be 110. So 110, so I'm just going to put 10 here, okay? 110, I can subtract that, and I have 22 left. All right, so what times 11 is 22? I can do that evenly too, okay? And then I end up with nothing left over. So I'm going to add these two together and get 12. So basically I found this quotient and this, we added them together. These are the quotients. We added the quotients together there to make 12. So let's do another one. All right, 21 into 845. So again, I'm going to do that one where we do it by 10. So I always, 10 is easy to add. You add the zero on and it's easy to do that. So that's why I always pick 10, 635. So let's do another 10. I'm just going to keep subtracting. Let's do another 10. Let's do another 10. And now I have five, that is my remainder. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40 with a remainder of five. And let's do one last more, one, one last one. We're gonna actually do it over here. So we have extra space. My next one is 43 into 731. I'm going to stick with my 10 because it's nice and round and it's easy to do. So I add my zero on and I subtract. I can't do 10 here, so I'm going to do, let's do five. 250, ooh, that works, five. Eighty-six. So I think 43, I can do another one. 43 times 2 is 86. So I have 2 up here. So now let's add these together. 2 plus 5 plus 10 is 17. So my quotient is 17.